Hey, hi everyone. How are we doing? Welcome along. Yes, my name is HUD601. Joining me on the couch, uh, King Rhodes TN. We are going to be running for you Sonic Dream Team. This is the brand new Apple Arcade exclusive game that came out a couple of months back, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll notice that we got someone stood up behind us. Hello, it's me, Arg. It's him, Arg. He's going to be doing the loud talky mouthy things. Um, first Bad. off, let me quickly go into the game because this game has one of the most incredible intro scenes like ever. It's awesome. <laughs> that is it does. It does. It's a jam. It's a wow. banger. <laughs> what timing! It's like they knew. <laughs> oh, epic. So I just want to quickly show you this because this is honestly amazing. And this basically reveals the whole story of the game. It's so good. I love this. I don't think I've seen this whole thing through. So good. There it is. Can we get a show like that? <laughs> yes. That'd be awesome. Yes. Right, before we go any further, Mod, what you got for us? It's my actual cat's Twitch account, yes. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Apparently, I was muted on stream. I'm so sorry. Uh, so, we have a $1,000 donation uh, Woo! from Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, from Ted601. Yeah. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is my first shift. Uh, so, um, yeah, Hudson's cat apparently donated. Uh, and uh, he said, uh, Hello, Father. Before you go any further, I would like to take this op opportunity to quickly remind you that I desire attention. Meow. 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 Oh. And um, that one just obliterated the target to upgrade Cocoon to all Moon Ancestors. Wow. Wow. So uh, thank you very much for instantly getting that target for tomorrow met. Thank you so, so much for that very generous donation. Right. Couple of uh, things. Hey, $14,000. And we go. just got the $14,000. Hey. Right. Couple of housekeeping rules before we get going. I rerouted this game slightly from King Road's original route on the 13th of February. On the 14th of February, they dropped an update to the game that completely changed the way the bosses work. The bosses are now around about 30 seconds slower overall, but they added in a cool new accessibility feature to skip the tutorial, which saves around about two minutes, give or take. Now, while we haven't ratified the rules based on this update yet, both King Rhodes and I have agreed we're going to be doing the new route, and we're both going to be skipping the tutorial. So you'll see the exact same route and the exact same things. Um, it does also mean, because the amount of time saved, there is potentially a world record on the line here. As long All as we time. don't screw up too much. So, without further ado, King Rhodes, you ready, buddy? I am. Let's go. No, Good, no, luck. You've Good luck, to sleep. mate. Let's give up. Oh, uh, you got to sleep. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. We're good. You're too right, slow. I'm up. In which case, then, Argic with the crowd. Would you like to count us in, my Let's friend? Let's go, everybody. Start from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So we have got this race going off here. Both the runners will be skipping the tutorial. The way Sonic Dream Team works is simple. It is a 3D Sonic platforming. It is a relatively simple game, but the level design and the abilities make it fantastic. There are three things you need to worry about every character. You have Sonic and Amy. They are your speed characters. They can jump, they can light speed dash, and they can also boost. You've got your flight characters. They can fly, they can jump, and they can boost. And finally, your power characters who can glide, they can jump, 
and they can boost and also climb, which is fine. But the first level here, you're going to have our runners running through. We're going to be grabbing the red star rings. You need to get all five of these in the stages because that gives you a second dream orb. This is kind of like a little collectathon that is level based. You want to be grabbing all of the red star rings that you can with the route that's been thrown in here. And we're going to see our runners do a number of tricks, especially going around like using the homing attack, which is absolutely busted in this game, gives you increased length and allows you to go and grab the keys that we need to advance and the red star rings that are hidden in the stage right now. This first world that we're in, very fall guys aesthetic, very bouncy, very fun, very fast. And you're going to see some cool little checkpoint restarts, just allowing our runners to go back to the beginning of the little square area here to get the keys and away we go. Hud's finishing first with the keys, King Road's right behind. This is going to be a very, very tight run. So we're seeing movement tech here from Hudge right now, boosting but also jumping and then using the dash to extend the boost while allowing the boost meter to not drop. Very nice going under the waterfall there, getting the attack. But there we'll see if King Rhodes able to do something similar. Not able to get the distance, but that's fine. It's these little micro optimizations that are going to set these runners apart and why they are top tier runners right now. Four to five of ten for Huds. He's about to go and grab the last one on this level and head straight to the Dream Portal to finish up here. Right behind though, of course, King Rhodes grabbing the final fifth one as well. And we move from 1-1 into, or 1-1-1 into 1-1-2. So we're now going in and we were just always going to mash through these menus to get to these levels as quickly as we can because that is what the menuing on this game is about. It has been rerouted to minimize the amount of left and right and just do the levels the game takes you to. Hud's doing a little bit of skip on the corners here because what we want to try and do is minimize the amount of times we're on rails, minimize the amount of times that we are losing speed just by running normally. We always You're want to be boosting slow. or we always want to be running fast. So we're going to go through on the bouncers here. You can see King Roach just grabbing the couple of bouncers, last two homing attacks away into the orb. Hud's has just finished, unlocked the next couple of levels here, and then we hold the buttons just to skip our cutscenes. Now there is a chance for this game to crash. We hope we're not going to see it from any of our runners here, but if it does, it's a thing that happens. They'll just keep going, restart the game, and go through it. The main thing that counts here is in-game time. For a marathon, we want the RTA, but for the leaderboards and the potential world record on the line, IGT is what matters. And if your game crashes, it don't update it, so you don't lose the time. So coming through the next stage right now, it's again more red star rings required. We're running our way through. You see the boost rings that you've seen from Sonic Adventure coming through. Jumping over to the left hand section here because we need to jump up on the spring to grab our next section and run our way down. King Roads are coming up doing the very same thing right now. More little jumps on the rails to skip our way through. Going very, very fast. Another skip there. Very nice on King Roads' side too. It's pretty much neck and neck going through at the moment. Now that we're on the little kind of like hexagonal stuff, we've got another two red rings right towards the end here. First one right in front of us. Got to go around the rail because that's where the game is forcing us. Off the spring, run our way around, grab the two homing attacks off the enemies, drop down, and instantly finish the level again. So coming through, coming in. Now we're going to go into some of the shorter levels as well because the main level... So 1-1-1 one, 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 or 1-2-1, one, 1-3-1, one, 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 etc. are the main big levels. Now you bring it down low as we have some ASMR stage here going on. We've got to collect the dream crystals as we are in the dream world. Huds and King Rose are going to be grabbing the crystals in the exact same order here. Very nice jump and boost as we go our way through. Now using the light speed dash to get over the set of rings, jumping up and through into the platform there. Falling down rather than taking a ramp is an interesting optimization. Finally, homing attack onto the ring and then we go back to the... Well, back to the start. Nicely done there, Huds, on that one. Now moving on to the next stage. Act is unlocked. Again, at the start here, it's just mashing straight through. We don't have to worry about menuing. We've only got Amy and Sonic available at the moment until we do our first boss. This is where some of the level routing also comes in handy because some of the levels cannot be completed by Sonic and Amy. You need Cream and Tails or you need Rouge and Knuckles. We will be coming back to these levels to make sure we grab them. So more Red Star Rings required at this point. Off the springs here, we're going to run and jump our way through. Oh. Hud's getting a little bit of a bonk there on that one, not quite getting enough height, and then using the homing attack to try and extend it, but just going straight into the wall there. So coming up, do get the jumps up to the top of the dash rings there. That gives us those abilities. Going to go over to the right-hand side to grab the key. Didn't quite get the jump there, so that's going to be a little bit of a mishap there. Comes through, we're going round though, getting second key. King Rose entering the same area, grabs a smoother key, gets the spring immediately. That's going to help save time. We're now going to the left-hand side of the level to grab the rail that takes you up to the final key and then we're going to go down to the key section 
some of these key areas you will see us skipping later on. King Rose doing a little bit of an optimization there, grabbing the key, immediately checkpointing to minimize the airtime, and then going through that as well. Our first derail here, breaking off the rail, very nicely done there by Huds on that side. That is harder than it looks. King Rhodes gonna come in and try and do the same. Not quite getting it, getting it in the last minute. Turns around with the homing attack. Very nice recovery there. Very, very hard to do those because the rail breaks. This game is very solid when it comes to its rails. It wants you to be on rails. It allows you to switch easily with just left, right, and X, so you jump through it. But they try and keep you on that at all times. If you boost and then jump at the same time, basically one frame after, you immediately derail from the rail section and allows you to do some speedrunning shenanigans. And that's exactly what we see both our runners doing here. And we'll be seeing that a lot more through the race. Scramble shows at three, though. This is one of the ones where you got to go through all the checkpoints before the time runs out. Eagle-eyed viewers might be noticing that you've seen parts of these levels before because the game does reuse the levels, but it places different obstacles in your path to encourage you to go and explore these different levels that you might have missed in Act 1. Again, different character paths will allow you to do different things, and this one is just a nice simple, we boost, we grab our little energy to replenish our boost, and away we go. So we're going through this area, we're all nice, we're all good. Running through 14 of 16, there's 15, the last one is right at the end, and there's your dream portal straight through. King Road's about five checkpoints behind at the moment, but it is still anybody's game. We are now going into the major change that happened in the run here. We've got Dr. Crabulous. It is the first boss. Before the reroute, it had four health. It was three quick hits, and the fourth one was really, really funny. Now it has six health. It has increased the skill ceiling. Huds is going to go for some quick hits there. Gets the first quick hit. This boss is going to slam with its claws, sending out shockwaves. You want to be as close to the big claw as you can to try and get the hit. Crabulous is going to slam down, gets the second quick hit there, very, very nice. King Rose on the same side here, doesn't get the first quick hit, going to wait until the slams come down, then you get the intended hit method here. He's now very not happy about what we've got there, he's a very not happy crab. In fact, he's quite angry. So now the angry crab is going to jump around a number of times and you've got to go and hit his butt, and then you release some air there. Woo. Mr. Crabulous, what did you have for dinner today? So we're going to run our way through now, get the other quick hits on that one. Ideally, you want to do it within the first slam. If you can get it within the second slam, that is good. The main thing is if you wait until the standard time to hit, it's a little bit slower than what we would have had previously. Final hit. He's the tiniest wee crab. You knock him away, and that's a boss fight. We've got King Rhodes coming in now on this one. Gets the second slam. Going to wait for the third just for safety, as the boss did not turn around correctly for him, so he has to wait for those jumps. Huds has now unlocked Cream and Tails. Again, we're just going to mash. This is where we get our flying characters, and we move into the land of jelly, honey, whatever you want to call it. It is the dream factory. King Rhodes on the final hit. We just wait for the crab to get really, really small. One more final auto attack, and in we go. Very nicely done. Still a tight race going through on this one. So playing as Cream, both our characters here have Cream and Cheese. Cheese, the overpowered oh, chow. Yes. Oh, just getting Woo. the shotgun got there. Very, very nice on that one. Cream has the flight gauge, very similar to what you see in games like Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Mario Odyssey, things like that. It is a stamina gauge. Cream will be able to fly up to a certain height. Once she's at maximum height, the gauge will empty and she will slowly fly down. Our runner is going to be using that to her advantage to try and go grab red star rings that are strewn throughout the level here, while also using the spring, bounce pads, the platforms, and all that funky jazz as well. Again, we're deliberately doing a key skip there. King Rose gets it as well, nice hey, and easy. Let's go. Buddy, let's Double go. key skip for both our runners here is what we're looking to see. Now, up the top right on this stage, we're just following the path. Most of the Red Star Rings are on the main track of the level here. You just need to know where they are in preparation to grab them and then run our way through. So a little shortcut coming up here. Big old launch jump there. Uh, did not get the flight because Cream didn't want to fly. Gets the homing attack. Oh, needs to about turn. Come on. Huds is having camera issues, <laughs> but finally manages to grab the Red Star Ring there. King Road's going to come up, going to catch through on the segment here on the automatic rails. Not too far behind on that one. Just going to spin our way around going through as Huds is grabbing the last part here before going to the dream portal. So now we're going to jump up again, top route to grab that. Nicely done. And then down to the bottom. So we have Cream and Cheese there on to Act 2. This is where we're going to go sliding on some more of the rails there. Nice fly up. Let's see if King Rhodes can get through this rail section. Cream flies instantly done there. Very smooth, very clean. That's what you want to see on runs like this. This is going to give a little bit of catch up, a little bit of time save as we have the Dream Orb running our way through. So while we have the Dream Orb mod, please take it away on some donations, my friend. Oh, of course, of course. We have $50 from Baby Bell saying, uh, I assume I put the name uh, here, lol. 
so let's go with a Virgil Thunderbird. Hope the run goes well, bro. And that claimed the target, uh, claimed the reward for the Dragon Fable character name. Uh, it was also put to the target uh, for the Raymond series glitch trifecta race, uh, which is a bonus race after a race. So that's fun. Uh, we also have $10 from Anonymous without a message. Thank you very much indeed. We have $80 from Messi Lou saying uh, thanks for all your good work. And uh, that one claimed an ESA winter shirt. <coughs> Thank you very much for that. Those shirts are amazing. You do want to get that. $40 and you can put that towards one of our targets as well. Uh, so it's a double whammy. Let's go for that. And uh, yeah, back to York. Thanks very much, buddy. All right, we're coming in. You see Huds just trying to do more of the dream shards here. This is one of the more weirder stages to route because Cream has a lot of flying to do. And unfortunately, she's fairly slow in flying. So what you're seeing our runners attempt to do here is try to carry the boost speed while going from kind of a top down kind of segment here, just trying to minimize the amount of time they spend just having to fly fairly slowly. Unfortunately, there's this one section here where you have the flight pads that you have to fly over to recharge your flight. Also allows you to get higher if required but then run our way through. So we're going to grab that one. Away we go, we go in. Hud's making a face there as I, we're going to run I'm our way through. Character. You are the wrong character, but Change. the good news is you can select the wrong character as long as you become stationary. You can switch characters within the level, not having to restart. So we're going to go for the first segment here. We're not going to worry about the keys. We're going to have a bit of a key skip coming up, but we need to go around this section to grab our first red star ring. So going over the fans here, again, using the boost as liberally as we can to get as fast as we possibly can. And we'll see if Huds is about to go get key skip here. King Road's about to come and do the similar thing going around. Huds has come down to the bottom here. I think we're going to go and see an alternative version of it. Straight up on the rail. Turns back on the rail there by jumping off. Comes right through. Very, very nice there. Very speedy. We're not going to navigate our way through the rest of them. We want to go grab that red star ring. Fall down on the rail there. Jumping off allows you just to skip a massive amount of the uh, time you spend on the rails so we can run our way through. King Road's not far behind on this. We're going to do the exact same thing here. We don't need to worry about it. We're going to jump up and fly. Grab the homing attack reticle straight through. Looking very, very nice. Very, very clean. Now we're going to grab the second, well, third one in this stage. We'll see if we're going to get some nice jumps. Looks like the cycle is slightly off our huts here. So when this platform moves up, you grab, you get a height. Nice double jump on that one. We'll see if we can get a good cycle round to get the homing attack on one. Homing attack on two, moving our way through. King Road's going to come to the same section here. Going to about turn off the top there. Going to speed boost. Don't want to go through the ring backwards. The ring will just push you forwards, and you don't want that because you need the red star ring. As you can see, alternative way to get up there, just using the springs to then get the height that you already have thanks to the platforms moving up and down. It's these small kind of nuances that have these runners competing for the record right now. Huts has grabbed the last couple of the red star rings on that stage. Away we go. Into two... Oh, I think this is 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. It is 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Yep. So round we go through the stage. This has reached the checkpoints exactly the same as the speedy characters, but this time you're cream, so you're going to have a number of air-based ones. And of course, we're going to try and avoid flying as much as we can, and this time just use the homing attacks, because the range of the homing attacks is just massive. When you have the reticle, you're able to go through it, you keep it through, and now we have to just make sure to get the extra height there, dodge the laser beams, and away we go. There is less than an act between these two runners right now. It is basically about maybe 20 seconds at this point. They're still keeping base with each other, which is what we want to see. So now, you're going to see on Huzz's screen where we're going to go and re-navigate in the menus here, where we go all the way back to Please World crash. 113. Crash. Begging for it not to crash. We'll see what happens. It loads. It oh, didn't crash. It's the first so, time it's not crashed though on the new update. Lucky you. We'll see if it keeps <laughs> going for you. We love that. No crashes are a good thing. We definitely want no crashes on that. So now we're going to go through it. But you see now, this is what we mean by the menuing that we have to do. And you just go back into some other levels because we don't have enough Dream Orbs to automatically continue on with the game. So we've got to go back, unlock some more Dream Orbs. It's basically like Power Stars out of Mario 64. If you don't have enough to go through the 70 star door, you ain't going to pass. So we're going to grab them, running our way through. This is another checkpoint one. HUD's using the boost tech here. King Road's going to jump in, do the same right now. Again, going back through the Fall Guys land as we now head into World 114. As we come through now, back to another ASMR section here for our runners. Where we're going to be deliberately grabbing a couple of them. Nice big jump there. Gets the height over the top, immediately allowing the triple jump round to grab the Dream Shard. Quick pause for the checkpoint. Still collects the Dream Shard. Allows you to go through towards the end of the segment here. Going to grab the third one there. Fourth Amy. one down. And then Amy not behaving herself. Nice recovery though from Huds to go backwards around the passageway here. 
those rings let you go backwards, we don't know why. So we're going to go and deliberately hit the springs on this section. Mangy come up the top here, hits the edit, gets the jump, and this is it because wow. he yeeted it. Way to go, buddy. Thank Has you. to about turn after yeeting on that one. Up, through, and in. That's the stage complete. King Rhodes doing the same. Gets a very nice homing attack there. Runs around two more shards to go. Huds has now got progression back into 3-2-3-1, three, three, which means he's able to advance through that stage quite easily because the game automatically takes you there. And we have one of my favorite tunes of the game. It's just, it's a boogie. You can jive to it. And King Rhodes has done it as well. So we're going to bring it back up loud now. We're going to see some more rail shenanigans on this one. Go up the top route to grab the original ring here. As we have the red star ring. There's the ding. And away we go from the spring round to the bottom and through. Right behind though, King Rhodes coming. So we're going to see now. We get to jump over this one. Grab the boost energy. Gets the big boost oh, up there. No. Messes the ring into the drink which is a respawn at the checkpoint. So, we're gonna try that a second time. There you go, get the boost on that one now. We're gonna jump off the rail. We have the red star ring up there. So we're gonna have to deliberately wait on this platform, gets the height, jumps through the dash ring once again. King Rhodes in the exact same room right now, doing an alternate method here, waiting for the jump, gets the boost jump to land on the platform, and away oh. we go. It's gonna do the second loop. Hud's managing to recover Ooh. there on the homing attack. The camera not behaving, but got the lock on reticle blind and did the, well, basically mashed and got away with it, which is very, very nice. I will yeah. say that at this one, it is a case of there is a lot of, if something goes wrong, right on the fly. Oh, and no way. Oh, oh, no, right. So that's right. a, try and go bad, but it's not quite happening. You can see what's happening. You're trying to force your way around. Checkpoint it. Yeah. Checkpoint it. There uh, you go. Not settings. Woo. Checkpoint. So unlock it. We was... now have a lead change on this one. King Rose has taken the lead right now. Manages to go around, gets the red star ring. You can see there what was happening on Hudson's screen. Trying to break out of the automatic rail section there, but constantly being pushed back onto the spring because it's taking priority. Sometimes going for these shortcuts, they do backfire. It's the nature of speedruns. This is how you go fast. It is how these runners are so close to sub hour on this game. So now we're going to run around into the big room. King Rhodes has already grabbed a number of the keys and a number of the red star rings. So we're going to run our way through on this section, grabbing the key, immediately checkpoint warping again, just to get out and running the way around. We're then going to grab Amy's power, of course, the light speed dash on those rings. Away we go through that section. And then we've got the last of really? the area there. All five done, all three keys. And towards oh, the door we go. Where am I? There I am. Hud's missing his last key over the other end there. Needs to just grab it round. Up to the top, grabs the hidden one there, and away we go. King Rhodes racing towards the end of the level here, getting the boost, keeping it going. Oh, Jumped it did not. Oh, oh come on. Oh, Hud's got a reset there. Uh, that's not what you want. Uh, this level like just betrays me every time. Absolutely got you there on that one, unfortunately. But ah. it's not over yet. Absolutely not by a long shot. Cream coming through now. Going to take another ride through the Dream Shards. Going to be flying up again, trying to minimize the amount of boost speed that you have because moving fast is the best. Oh. Going to try and get the jump there. Missing it on that section. Hud's coming back around the passageway again, doing a little bit of extra running here. We'll see where King Rose is going to go. Probably going to have to get that Justin Omar. No, has to land to recharge the energy and then hit these lovely flight rings that will give you more boost energy. Basically boost power, we love F-Zero here. Running our way up and through now to the top, which will allow us to then fall down towards the one on the left before doubling back on ourselves to get the one we left at the very bottom that is literally just out the way. Why it's out the way, we don't know. It's just where they decided to place it. Hud's coming through now once again to the section here. Back to the area where we were at. Still gonna have to re-grab the keys, unfortunately. But the red star coin, uh, red star ring, sorry, almost pulled an eco heart there. Should be, uh, <laughs> should be. Uh, still collected for HUDs on that one. Love you, Nico. <laughs> so we're going to go our way through now. Again, doing that scrambled shores act two for King Rhodes here. It's an Amy stage, boosting around through the dash rings. 12, nice and easy to do. Mod, if you've got some time, buddy, now go for it. Wonderful. We do have a uh, an $80 donation from Basic EXP saying, let's make some wishes come true. And let's do that indeed. Uh, grabbing a Goosebird shirt, because that's a good one as well. Uh, we have a $10 donation from Astro, uh, Astropult without a message, without an incentive, but thank you very much for that generous donation. Um, oh, oh, that was loud. Uh, so, um, let's keep you updated on uh, some incentives, uh, some targets that we have. We do have two bonus chart targets for uh, Open Taiko, that's uh, a rhythm game coming tomorrow. 
uh, both at a $1,500 uh, target. And um, yeah, we pretty much need all of them, uh, all of that, till tomorrow in the afternoon. You have some time, but don't wait too long because uh, maybe we don't get it and we don't want to not get it. Please keep your donation, uh, donations coming. Thank you, Ark. Ta very much, buddy. Right, King Roots is on some of the harder levels now. You can see that the levels start to get a bit more difficult with the platforming segments and that. And the reason they're more difficult is because if you fall off there, you're going to win a checkpoint, but the checkpoints are further back than you would expect them to be, and you've got to try and redo them quickly. So, Hudson is about to grab the last couple of Dream Shards, about to catch up back to Scrambled Shores as well. But we're going to see King Roots here reach the Dream Portal in under 1 minute 30. That is easy time for us speedrunners on this one just because we play these levels too much, but that's the joy of having fun with our games. So running our way through again, you can see deliberately not taking out the last enemy there. It's all about minimizing that airtime. It's minimizing that. You can see now going the right for once, jumping over the spring, missing the enemy, immediately homing attacking the rail. That allows you just to keep going, grabbing the extra speed boost, missing that one as well, just using the standard dash to go through it rather than the homing attack. And then you saw this rail in level one. We ain't going there. We're going to go up the hill instead, kill the enemy, bounce our way through, avoid the other two enemies there because we don't need any red star rings and finish the stage so Hudson is now doing the dream checkpoint one on this one get the checkpoints again You're these two stages slow. look very similar to each other as they run their way through but it is different routes through it we now however have boss number two we have the factory foreman the foremen are here but there's only three of them something went wrong there's only uh, three of them Oh, have you? Yep. Oh, no way. So we got this off. Right at the start of the foreman, though. That is good. Quick yep. reset. Knowing immediately you softlocked is very, very good. Didn't actually know you could softlock there. Today we've learned. Yep. So we're going to load back in. This is going to do damage to real time. Again, we cannot stress this enough. Crashes will do damage to real time, but game time is what matters. So we're just going to run our way through and continue onward on this. It does make for a good spectacle, though, as this gives Huds time to catch up doing the platforming segments here. Coming through for the Dream Orb. Last little segment here. Run, boost, a couple of jumps, and to the Dream Orb we go. So now back into the factory form, and there is only three of them. The change to this boss now is a case of you can only get hit by, oh, gets the three for that, and then is only able to hit one. We used to be able to get more than a couple on that one, but they've changed it slightly, so we have to deal with each of the cycles. Now, you may be like thinking, that's a lot slower than what we were able to do before. You'd be right, but wait till you see what they've done in phase two. So just waiting for this last enemy to charge us a few times, grab the dong to send them back, hit them down, and into phase two we go. Now the boss regains health, has a chunky amount of health there. Look at that. We have seven amount of health, but as the boss spins, he now activates a weak point, allowing us to finish the spin cycle early and immediately get a hit on damage. This is significantly quicker for the two times that we have to do this while still maintaining the third phase that the game has. So we've got the final spin on this segment. Immediately going to get it when the boss gets around to about two, three o'clock. You fly up, you take the hit. That is it. Right on to phase number, well, we're in phase two, but now on to hit number four of phase two. We wait for the gloop. We wait for the jelly as it's going to come up here. So we're going to fly to the platform there. Hud's entering the boss fight as well. Hopefully not getting this off lock on this one. No. You've got to be kidding me. And you got it. No. Oh, oh no. my yeah. God. <laughs> Double soft lock. That is not ah. what you want to see. Not at all. So before this race started, we both agreed that for any uh, like crash or soft lock or anything on either game, we're both going to donate ten dollars. <laughs> yeah. So that's twenty at the moment for both of us. I'll join you on that one as well. Hey. So there we go. We do that too. All for the charity. All for Make a Wish on here. As we wait for the final cycle now, the good news about this is normally you have to wait for the gloop twice. With the new four-man system, you only have to do the gloop section once. Do the swings around again. Get the early hits and you are golden. So right now, King Road still maintaining the lead as HUD's also got the same soft lock, evening out the time loss that King Road's originally had. So we're now going to run our way through the stage on to the Nightmare Maze, which is where we finally unlock our friends Chuckles and Rouge. So we got our boy Chuckles. He's going to come in and play the game. The Nightmare Maze main gimmick on these stages is that it will change gravity around. Like you're on the inside of a cube, you'll jump to one of the edges. Gravity will shift. We also have the ability for our characters here to climb because they have glide where they sink like a stone and then they can finally climb on our way up here. Dear Sega, stop making our gliding characters 
sink like rocks. Like, come on. So we're going to run, jump, grab that key. Very nice, quick grab there. We're going to run, run, flip upside down because the gravity section is in play. We're going to grab the second key. Immediately on the sprint, You're grabs the slow. glide. Doesn't go for the glide there. That's fair. We're then going to grab the key, kill the enemy, grab the red star ring, oh, and activate the key. Where's my homing attack? Nom, nom, nom. Literally not homing. There you go. There you go. My word. Come on, cream. You got this, Huts. Keep going, buddy. <laughs> you got this. No, we know you got it. It's Trying okay. to get the rail break there on this one for King Rose. Not quite making it. Instead, just going to have to fly over. Still grabs the Red Star Ring, which, of course, is of utmost power. Well, it's utmost important as this. If you miss any of the Red Star Rings, you have to go back and get them. The levels are routed in the way where you have You're just enough slow. Red Star Rings to get the Dream Orbs and move our way through. So our next one is off onto the side there, grabs through the giant ring, which is nice. Nice little skip coming up where we miss the rail, we do a slight glide, we let ourselves fall down, skips over to the spring, lovely jovely. Now off to the right hand section here, do the double springs, fly over at that red star ring. Here's the weird gravity we were telling you about. Immediately does a checkpoint so you don't get to see it. That's fine, I see how it is. Going fast for the charity. Running our way through, opting to go around the long way just for safety here. Very smart play at this point, going towards the end. Huts finally in the final hit, beating the four man there and moving on to Nightmare Maze as well. Yeah, we can rip us that, we can go for it. So unlocking the characters, they are live, they are ready to go. We're now going to see King Rhodes go into a similar level to the one that we just did, but the difference now is the game is expecting us to climb. And as we climb our way through, they're going to go and try and grab a nice little shortcut. What a jump through. And in that section, taking the long water round, allowing us to then go around the side here. We have 20 rings if we need to take a damage boost, but the cycle is fine, that is not required. Springing our way up and over, two more giant springs in our way, opting to go for it, gets the bounce. Should be clear to grab the dream orb. Uds grabbing the keys as well on Nightmare Maze at one as we move into 114 playing as Amy right now. Again, both our runners do have their splits. Huds getting the red star ring early oh, now, missing the jump down though difficult. on that section. Unfortunately, Overshot. just the camera not behaving, overshorting slightly simple. So now we got Amy doing the Dream Star Shards here. We're gonna go and take the Red Star Ring one again, going up the top first. Immediately gonna fall down because there's one right below us. Grabbing the one right below that one as well. Then gonna jump over onto the water there that knocks us onto the platform. Grabbing the final shard of that one. It's really quick when you know the route. When you don't, it is literally a maze. Hud's going for a rail break. Doesn't get the rail break, so we're gonna immediately just wait. Two attempts is all you need in that one because by that time you're at the end of the rail anyway. Uh, okay. And then the rail and sending you backwards because the rail is being a troll. Sometimes that's just how this game goes. The rails can sometimes be oh, your I friend. They can be your, uh, not your friend. And now they can reverse controls as well. So a little shortcut coming up here. Gets the jump on the spring. Very nice there for King Rhodes. The gate open from the previous level. It doesn't reseal, which is good for us. Getting to the dream gate in less than two minutes. Can we get the rail break this time? No, no. Unlucky two for two on missing the, the derails, the rail breaks right now. Unfortunately, it's slight time loss, but it's still enough to stay ahead right now. Again, the jets for Huds here as well. Going to just jet over, going to grab it, come down, does the oh. boost. Okay, uh, yeah, check. Just going to checkpoint it, go back and reset it to try it there. Going to come around now, do the jump with Amy. No glide for safety, but we do still have the homing attack. Gets you back on track, and it's a straight boost, straight down to the finish line here. You flip onto the wall, becomes the ground, you jump across, then it flips back again, and that is the dream portal for King Rhodes. And Huds right behind as well. Same dream portal, different level. Always interesting when that happens. So now navigating our way back down now, we've got Mr. Hon Hon Hon, French Knuckles himself. Always a pleasure when he does the random Hon 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 for us. Shoutouts, of course, to all our French runners at ESA here. We know you're around. You will probably be getting us with the guests later on because <laughs> you always bring them at least once. We know you do. So we're now back into the earlier stages of the run here. As you can see, we do have Knuckles coming in. This allows us to do the glides, allows us to do the climbing as well. Nice little skip there by high, being high enough in range to get the homing attack onto the spring. We're then going to jump our way through, bounce our way up. We're going to do the same again in this section, trying to minimize the gliding again, because again, gliding just gets slower and slower as the quicker you descend there, which is not something that you want. When it land, get a boost jump, boost jump, glide to safety, boost jump, Boost jump straight to the end. Very smooth. Well played there, King Rhodes, on that one. Amy grabbing the last of her dream shards here on Hudson's side. 
and going the catch up race right now. We now have another level unlocked. We're going to go through. We have all characters available, which is why we now have specific character routing as well. And in some levels, you may even see a character swap. So down in Nightmare Maze Act 2, we're going to run our way through. This level is largely a straight tunnel section for the first part here. We've got a lot of the Red Star Rings again. It'll be a number of jumps from rails to Red Star Rings, from ramps to enemies. We're going to skip two of these enemies to get the third enemy. That then gives us up the water spout to get the Red Star Ring. Lightspeed dash all the way over here. We're then going to not do the uh, lightspeed dash on that one. No, we are. We're going up the top. Very nice. Don't know which one's faster on that one because there's like three different routes you can take on that one. So we're going to miss the enemy there, deliberately dodge down. We're going to keep going on the bottom section, riding these rails as quickly as we can. We're going to do a little bit of a boost run, get the reds, get the light ring dash, and then going to go over to key segment number one, up the hill section here, turning about to your right, and then I'll give you to key number one. We're then going to hit the water, send us back to the start. That allows us to grab middle, ride the rail up to the top on the right-hand side. You're going to want to try and grab the red star ring. So when you go through plume one, plume two, go through water spout three, and down we go. We then grab the key, immediately checkpoint, takes you back down to the bottom, push your way through, and that takes you through that section of Nightmare Maze. Now... We're going to keep going on this section. We've got another set here. We've got a really cool fancy jump coming up on this one. We're not going to bother rail swapping. We don't need it. But we're going to use the spring. Going to not hit the enemy. Just immediately go onto the rail. Big old jump for the rail at the top, though. Gives you number four to five red star ring. And then onto a bit of Lost World here. If you know Son of Lost World, this looks very, very similar to you. As we run and jump and gloop our way through here. We're then going to grab our final red star ring. And then going to go across. Getting a little bit of a damage there, but it is okay. Not taking the speed right there because it's actually slow. Allows you to go straight to the end instead to the upper platform, and that is a very nice stage. Huds getting the extra homing attack there off the spring, preventing the climb, coming through, getting those boost jumps with Knuckles, running our way through, trying to keep out of flight as much as we can, but not too much to fall down because that's not what we're looking for here. And then we're going to run, going to deliberately wait. Oh, oh, very close. That's going to be okay. Nicely done. This one's going to be tight, oh. but still recovers it. Ooh. Very, very good job there like for it. you as you catch up. <laughs> Lovely. Mod, buddy. Got some time for some donations as we're running through a few more checkpoints. Oh, wonderful. We have a $100 donation from Nya Vicky saying, Making wishes, honking gooses, looking stylish. And that one uh, grabbed both of our is a shirt so thank you very much for that donation we have ten dollars from mr j saying let's go hey. king roads much love uh, much love gang from scotland we also have fifty dollars from daycare gaming saying uh, so uh, so that wishes make come true yes we will make wishes come true with all of your lovely donations so thank you very much for every single one of them all right, we're going to keep up here now. We've got Knuckles on the Nightmare Maze doing some glides, doing some rings here, going through those ones. You may saw King Rose there do a little bit of a boost into a jump. If you jump just as you go into a climbing section, there's a chance to gain massive height that reduces the amount of time needed spent climbing and allows you to navigate through these rings very, very quickly. So we're going to fall down, we're going to slam our way through. Doing very, very well so far. Last couple of rings here. Every ring gives you three seconds on the clock. We don't need to worry about running out of time on these ones. It's very, very lenient. Hud's getting three or five red star rings here in the Nightmare Maze. Going to do the reset with the keys. Going to grab the last two. Looking very, very clean through the stage right now as well. All we need to do now is just take it home. We got the real jump to grab the one up on the top side. Ooh, very Ooh. big jump there on that side. Very nice. Runs away through, gets the enemy bounce, going to take the boost there. Big old jump up the top, that's the red star ring. And then into the Lost World segment there. The King Road's got a number of precision jumps going to be coming through here. We are cream, of course, those who do have the ability to fly if we need to. This is where we're going to try and do as many of the homing attacks as we can to try and keep going forward, making it look very, very easy. Again, a game that looks deceptively simple to play casually, but it's really hard to play fast and honestly, a lot of fun. So going through now, we're going to fly up. This is why Sonic and T Amy can't do this section. They just can't reach these platforms. Even if they had the ability, it's just not possible. So going through past the jellyfish now, all the way up to the top, round to the last section of this level. Going to get the home attack, refreshes the flight gauge, and the stage is done. So going through now as well, Hud's going to grab the rings on the checkpoints here as Amy Speedy Boosting is way through on the catch-up here. 
still anyone's game at this point. We still got the entire fourth world and a few more bonus stages to go. A few more stages for extra dream orbs. It is not done by a long shot yet. So we're coming through. We're coming in. We're going around. We get the dash here. We're going Amy flipping around in the box. We want to go to the left there because that's going to give us red star ring number one. We're then flipping our way around, going out of the box onto the rail segment here. Going to let us do all these twists and turns. Get in the dash here. We'll see if we get over through the loop and then get ourselves prepared to grab ring number two. We'll see how King Rhodes is going to set up and no. do this one. Nope, not going for casually, it. Casually. Yeah. Going to do it. Fair enough. Taking it safe, going through casually. Makes a, well, honestly, it's a smart move at this point. So just going to go through, going to go in, not going to bother with the rail breaks. Allows us just to go through the rails here. You can try and fight this segment. It is something you can do, but if you whiff it, it's going to cost you a lot of time. So now we're going to go around, we're going to go up, we're not going to use the fosses on this one. We're going to stay towards the left on those big old dash rings there. That gives us the next red star ring. Oh, a wonderful jump! Gets the dash going through on that segment. And now we're going to keep going through. Big old jump off platform number one. Platform number two has enough speed to get straight over to the, the uh, water spout there. Round and down as we're now going to spin the gravity once again. So we're going to come through now. Hud's grabbing the checkpoint rings with Knuckles here is on the 11th, 12th, there's the final one. Nice little skip there by King Rhodes. Just stopping the gravity flip, not having to stay on the rail, hit the boosters. We're gonna see now if King Rhodes looks like we're gonna see some key gate skip here. So meant to grab these three keys, not gonna do any of that. In fact, we're gonna have a character change to Tails. Now gonna line himself up deliberately on the edge of this one so we can then do a boost and a jump to then get the flight around the gate there. Not needed, has enough flight, gets around it very clean, very nice. And that is gate key skip there on that one. Unlocking new missions as we go along here. Back to playing as Cream, continuing the trend with our flight characters. This one's dangerous because the camera angles can be janky. So we're going to go and go up there. The need for that as well. As you can see, Cream just needs to fall down. Otherwise, you don't get enough height because you've ran out of stamina on the gauge. We're now going to keep ourselves going on this one. Gravity is going to twist. Cream is behaving herself, which is something we always love to see. The gravity flips once again. We're going to keep going now on the boosters. We've now got the giant moving cookies. We're going to stay on these cookie platforms and see what happens. Hopefully get enough speed, enough boost to get the jump up there. We're going to have to go back and get that one, but that's nice. We're going to dodge the bombs on this side as we speed our way ahead. Now we're going to jump, fly, get it again. You can see just the stage getting higher and higher as it goes on. HUD's coming into the next set of Nightmare Maze stages as well. At three with Amy, reach the dream portal. We're going to see the same skips as well. But first, five red star rings must be collected. So running our way through again to the left there on Hudson's side. That is what we're going to see. And then go through the rest of the cube as we see King Rhodes doing the end of the same act. And you get the boost. Thank you very much, video game. <laughs> Stuck between the rail and the booster. It's giving you everything today. It really it, is. It is fighting you hard, mate. It's it's one of those days. King Rhodes coming through now. Going to grab the remaining rings on this one. Needs to be very careful because it's technically what upside down right now. There we go. As we see the rings again, taking the safe way just to go through it. Because right now, the game is fighting hard. And he's like, I'm not having it. <laughs> like, I'm done. You, you stop this. It is throwing everything at me today. <laughs> Including the kitchen sink. Apparently so. So we're going to go through now. Knuckles, Nightmare Maze at three. More glide, more climb, more while we go. Missing the war there, but that's all right. We can just about turn and grab it. Making sure we run our way through. So Hud's going for the jump there. Going to grab the big old jump there. Gets up to through it. Wonderful. Four is right ahead after this rail. As we see Knuckles doing the climb on that side. So we're going to go through, going to grab it. See if we can get Hud's grabbing the key skip as well. About to come up to that segment. Little fluttering there with Knuckles just to try and keep him in the distance onto the wall there to grab it in time. Try to minimize uh, the amount of distance you fall down because then you spend longer timing. It, again, it's all about those small, small optimizations that we're running through. You that got lucky. Wow, I've... You got lucky on that checkpoint. Almost missing that one. But it works. So we got the character switch coming out for Huds here. We're going to do the boost. Going to immediately go for the jump around the vine. Looking good there for Huds. Very quick setup there. Very well done. Lovely job there. And that is what you want to see. So King Rhodes going back now into the Dream Factory levels, doing some of the Knuckles ones on that, while Huds is going through some of the Nightmare Maze ones with Cream. While these two levels are going on, Mod, if you have any more, now is your time, buddy. Oh, do I have any more? We have $50 from RMCSBC. Thank you very much for that, grabbing an ESA winter shirt. We also have $50 from Anonymous, grabbing a Goosebird shirt without a message. 
And we have Okoma coming in with $20 saying, it is in the interest of Union 601 to see this race succeed. <laughs> crashes do not make this race succeed. <laughs> Bad crashes. <laughs> Shoo, go away. This Union member will match the $10 per crash, starting with the two we already saw. Thank you very much for that donation. I swear I must be the only streamer whose chat decided to unilaterally unionize. <laughs> I mean, it was deserved, to be honest. You know what you did. <laughs> Hint, he did nothing. It's really funny. He's literally done nothing. <laughs> but shout outs to Union 601. Don't you start. <laughs> Don't you start. <laughs> so where are we going now? On the levels here, we've got King Rhodes coming in as Tails here doing the Dream Shard section on this one. This is a very cycle-based stage on this one because we have the last three over here are up above and the one is down very below. So that's already been jellied. So we're going to have to wait for the jelly to go down and we're just going to attempt to try and get one of the top ones or just grab it there. That's fine. Grab that. That was cool. We'll see what the other cycle looks like. Very nice homing attack up on the ledge there. See if we can grab the second ring. Not quite high enough, but we managed to grab the tip of the top of the first. Oh, no, that was the second yeah, one. Yeah, Good yeah, camera yeah, angle. Yeah, yeah. Good camera angle. Oh, I can't see that. Going to have to wait on this cycle, though. Maybe get enough. Oh, oh go. making me eat my words there. Just getting that very clean. Good recovery and good backup because I know that's not how you wanted that to go. So now we're going on to the Knuckles boss fight. We are going on to the Guardian Hunter. This is the one that changed massively. <laughs> this one used to just be four hits, three quick hits, and then a fourth super quick hit. It is now changed to four hits on phase one, and the Guardian Hunter itself has different attacks and also moves back a lot faster. So we're waiting for these speedy boosts to come through. When the orb or when the orb bot is there, hit the orange orb bot. Boss comes along, makes a really squelchy noise. It really does. And then that takes away damage. So we skip each of our cutscenes here. Knuckles is going to climb. We go into phase two. That boss is legging it. It is absolutely helping it right now. It runs away so quickly. I mean, the fast one Knuckles coming at me, I'd leg it as well, to be honest. So we're going to run our way through now. We're going to do the little dodging of the uh, the orbs coming towards us, waiting for the egg point to spawn. Again, it spawns it in a very nice circle pattern and then just drops them anywhere like it's losing its marbles. So we're going to go all the way through now. There's the egg pond drop. We're going to send that back. Once again, we're going to hear a squelchy noise, or we will when we get to Hudson's version of it. At least I can hear Hudson's right now. So there's a squelch coming out on that one. On to the next hit here. Again, absolutely legging it. This one gets interesting because you have to find the correct gap. You cannot jump over it like you did in the first level. Until you find the egg point, you hit the egg point, away you go, you get the hit, and then we go down into the next phase. Now, this is a little bit uh, cheeky on this one because suddenly you go up and you're like, yeah, this is fine. We're going to go see the boss turn big as we normally do. Um, but there's now a five by five grid on the ground, giant claws, and it regained health. What the heck is this? So we now have to, unfortunately, wait through this one for the boss to once again do his cycles, do the pattern, summon the egg pawn, hit the egg pawn back, apologize to the egg pawn as it is trapped in space until the final hit. So that poor guy's just like, what the heck? Let me go. What are you doing here? So you just got to dodge each of the orbs that come down here. The orbs are, of course, marked by the grid that you see on there. So if you're seeing 3x3, three three, get out of the 3x3. Three three. If you see an X, stay out of the X, things like that. Hud's being fought with Tails here on the moment, trying to do the Dream Orbs. Cycle's just not quite behaving the way that he wants it to plan, but it's fine. Going to go through, going to go in. As we get in the last couple of heads here, King Road's having the rings for it. Hud's getting the cycle. Very good. Going to go around. Going to jump up. Grab one and two. Playing it safe there. Very smart move. Should be enough to get that Dream Shard as King Rhodes finally takes out the boss, releasing the Egg Pawns from their floating adventure there and moving into the final world of the run here. We have the Ego City as we're going to go in. Mr. Eggman himself. He's in the dreamland. What does he do? Of course he wants to build the city. He wants to build Eggman land. He wants to take over the world. So he now has his own lavish gold and red city. And we are going to skip as many of these pipes as we can. Because those pipes are slow. We're going to do a number of jumps. We've got a number of bounces. We've got platforms that will disappear after a set period of time when you have touched it. We've got fans and we've got HUDs back in the Guardian Hunter right now. So we're going to go through again. You'll hear some more of the squelchiness, the fun stuff coming through. We're going to grab the Red Star Rings again on King Rhodes' side here. S second one is just beside that area. And Eggman is doing his little quips again, which makes us really, really happy because they're really, really fun. 
But we're going to go through now. We're going to go up to the side here. Grab that very interesting route through that segment there. And now we come to one of the slowest bits of Eagle City is the uh, activating the three buttons to move the gravity panels a la Lost World style from Sonic Adventure here. So we're going to run our way around, we're going to go our way through, we're going to see if we get through some of the pipes here to go and head into the buttons. And because this is a game that has tubes, this is now an honorary 8-bit game. <laughs> Don't make the rules, it's just how it works. Tube. Tube. We love tubes. So we're going to go through, we're going to come in, our, we're going to see Amy run our way through here. Again, gravity is on your side, it will not force you off there even if you stop. Very nice jumps there, getting those homing attacks out. About turning on us, very nice skip there, missing the extra bounce on that one. And that completes this section. There is a red star ring at the very top there. Going to make sure King Rose gets the jump to grab it. Normally a number of us forget it, thank you Tails Challenges. Um, as we go through now to try and get up there. See the slowdown on the gravity change as Hudson on the final phase of the Guardian Hunter here. Going to be taking the Egg Pawns on their merry adventure once again. And away we go. So we're going to bounce our way through the stage. We're going to run our way in and then go on the rail up to the top route, grabbing Red Star Ring number four to five. Cycle looks pretty good there. Should be able to get to the spring right through the pipe. We now want to go through the right pipe because the right pipe takes us up to the top route that has our final Red Star Ring. Again, on these platforms that will disappear once you've stood on them. It's fairly lenient, but when you first see it, you kind of panic. Away we go. Let's see what cycles we get. Going to be an interesting one there. Nice bounce. Two all the way across. Don't do the homing attack. Straight to the end. And very well played on the Dream Portal there. Forking Roads. As Hudson is going to grab the last couple of attacks there. And there goes the Guardian Hunter. Only one level behind right now between these runners. This race is good. Are you enjoying the race right now, everybody? Let's get some idea for them. Bring it up. Everybody at home, thank you for the donations as well. And it is going all the way through. So let's see just how we take this home as we run through the checkpoints on this section. So Hudson's coming in the Eagle City one, doing the Egocity. exact same. Egocity. Egocity, yes, Egocity. Only because it's your run, it's Egocity. <laughs> Fine. So we got Egocity as we go through now. King Road's doing the Egocity. 21 ring race here. This one doubles back on yourself. You've got to be very careful with where you do some of the jumps because the game is going to force you into some of the pipes. But if you miss, it is just going to force you straight down. It is actually better just to completely go neutral on that, I found. That way you're guaranteed to get, well, just get in the hole, Amy. Um, and away she'll go. She's very happy about it, though. Whee! Very vocal, the characters in this game as well. Again, it's bright, it's colorful, the music's Whoa, pretty good. What and on what earth on happened, earth happened to you? I don't know. What did you do? I didn't do anything. It just threw me off the end. Yeah, well, thanks, game. So we're going to see that <laughs> happening. It, like, again, I will, I will find you a sink and I will give you it later. Um, as we're going to go through now, Hudson doing the gravity section as King Rose here has a very, very kind of iffy level. It's another cream flight level, but you've got to go through the pink rings here while also going through the flight regain rings. And the camera angle is at like this weird 45 degree angle sometimes, and it can really throw you for a loop. So we're going through there, gonna grab that, gonna get the homing attacks of the enemies to refresh some of the flight as we go through onto the rails. Tilt the rail. Thanks very much, game. And up we go to the top there. Final 45 degree angle on that one. Again, it's interesting, but why? Is, is you, the can, you can adjust it, but it's it's so Yeah, much but worse. it's like it's like why would you so do much. that? It's like no. So we're gonna go through there, it gets to the maximum height on the ring. Very clean stage, very clean level, very well played. As Hudson is coming through the end of Ego City 1, it's right, Ego City 1 on that one. Gets the final red star oh. ring up the top there. Looking good. One character. And there we go. So we're going to have to do a character swap on King Rhodes' section here. Accidentally came in the level as Amy. Not a good idea. You want to fly. Let's see if the tubes are going to behave themselves on this one. Last time I played this one, the tubes just said, you ain't going anywhere. I just wouldn't actually, like, send me anywhere. It was very weird. That's a beautiful route, though. I'm, I'm stealing that. Uh, so we're going through a very quick, very speedy, very, very smooth stage there. Well played from King Rhodes. Hutz finishing a Gossity 1 there. Now we're going to go and do some cleanup on King Rhodes' stages here. Back into the earlier levels again. Changing up the menuing and going to go and grab. I think this one is the Reach the Dream Portal, yeah. which it is. Yeah. Yeah, I had, I had to make sure because I got a DoorDash notification so I couldn't see my splits. Oh, that's not a good time. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much yes. for that notification. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Mod, if you want to take it over, buddy, now is a great time. 
Oh no, Mod does not have a mic right now, so can't do that. I'm gonna take a quick drink of water. <coughs> Excuse me, I am talking too much. All right, we're gonna go through on the uh, on the run here. Don't you say oh to me on that one. <laughs> They're all calling me out. Rail break for King Rhodes here. No oh, he pulled it back on, gets the second one though. Does a good job there, very, very well played. Love to see it as we come through. And because I do need to cough, I'm gonna be cheeky here. Uh, Mod, swap headset, buddy. He's not listening to me. Mod, swap headset, here. He's talking to Tech, probably. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> tech, leave him alone. <laughs> we want our Mod back. <laughs> All right, going through the level there, doing very, very well, as we love to see it. Why on earth did they make this the camera angle for this level? I will never know. Yeah. It is pretty bad. It's 45 degrees. There it's we go. I'm better now. I've had a little cough. Right. Going through, coming in. Make sure you stay hydrated, chat. That's something you want to always do. Eagle City 3 here, running through the stage. Going to be seeing the jumps uh, on uh, the whoa. right nope. speed rings. Yeah, yeah, you oh, can man. just run and jump yeah, and make yeah, it. Yeah. So there I, you go. I, I got lost. I thought I was a section fast. Yeah, no, you're all good. There you go. So straight through, grab it. Red Star Ring numero uno. As Huds is cream flying right towards the end of the 45 degree angle stage. There are a number of bouncy platforms here coming in. I'm going to go up to the top side, making sure we run through on the rails, getting the boost again, managing boost on this one. It's not really something you worry about too much until you realize you don't have any and you've made a mistake, but it quite quickly becomes muscle memory. Nice bounce on the on these bounce pad there. I'm like, what is that called? It's a bounce pad. Running our way through, doing a boost over, gonna double back on ourselves with the checkpoint, warping back to the area, gonna get one more key section over here. Gonna take another uh, ring dash over this one. Oh no, opting for it, not nice. Gonna take the jump instead and go through the fan. Oh, that's a nice wee clean boost jump, I like that. Another checkpoint warp on this level. Going to go and land into the traffic section here on the roof. Final checkpoint warp for the third key. And King Road's going to make it through the key section very, very smoothly there. You'll love to see that one. As Hutch jumping back into the scrambled chores to grab the one, oh, three. Oh, come on. And Hutch crashes. Yay for money. That's another Yay. $10. <laughs> Again, if any if anybody can and does want to join us in the matching as well, it's 10 bucks for every crash. So that'll be 10 from the three of us here and anyone else who wishes to join us on that matching as well. It is very rare that this game actually goes through without crashing. Um, so the fact that we're seeing them, not unusual. Oh, I'm getting bullied. You are getting big <laughs> bullied, mate. We will have stern words with the Apple TV later. <laughs> we'll send it up to Skenmi. Skenmi will have some words for it. <laughs> no, Skenmi will sell it so we can buy a flight home. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm giving him yours then. <laughs> right, we got, we got the Dream Shards once again. Going to go through on this route, on this section here. Oh, oh caught on the edge of the platform there for King Rose. Going to have to change, do it again, just go through. Actually going to go for a bit of a reroute here, which yeah. is nice. Just going to turn around and go and grab that one behind there. That's where those platforms were. That's where you should have ended up, but that's fine. Going to go back on the golden moving platforms there just to get the extra boost jump. Very nice. Grabs off the enemy homing attack there for safety. Immediately into the light speed dash. Gets the boost off. Goes down the bottom back to the traffic. Going to land on this one. It is in the traffic this time rather than through the pipe. That will catch some of you off guard when you prime play it. Up to the top, grab the last one there, and that's a pretty smooth stage. Nice recovery on that one. As Huds is coming through now, going to head into World 4 2 1. So that's Egocity Realm 2 Level 1. So one it's, a, it's a confusing naming scheme. Menuing is hard. It works. <laughs> it does. For the most part. Oh. Ah, oh, and you're still going, going for that one there. Sometimes when the loading screen takes yeah, that a little it, bit longer, yep. it's like, are you just going to crash I was and that's for it? it. I so was I. <laughs> so was I. So we've got the flight stage here. You're not going to really see Cream flying too much because we're just going to do nice big jumps with the lovely rainbow trail behind her. Oh, that should not... Nope, yeah, I'm going to have to go back and land. The check. Good recovery, though. No one couldn't make that one. Going to do the jump up to the top. Head off the enemy once again. Boost, jump, and run. As we're going to go through towards the Dream Warrior, another boost jump, not going to bother with the enemy because we don't need it. Final boost jump, having a little bit of initial D going on there, a little bit of momentum with the boost going round the corner there. As we have Cream drifting in the air there. As we now go through to, I believe, one of the final levels of uh, World 1, I think, maybe. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. 
So we're going to grab the uh, Dream Shards on this one again. Another oh, ASMR stage. Amy. As Huds misses a jump with that one. Amy is just not quite behaving around the corner there. We're going to just get the jump on that one. Big boost jump. Very, very nice. Grabs the key. We're going to go through the pipe. Through the tube. 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 So switching to Knuckles here on this one halfway through the stage. As we say, the later stages here, you start to see more character swaps because we take advantage of some of the speed characters' abilities at the start before having to switch to the mandatory climbing sections and things like that. Using the glide to get around, easy to get in, grabs the last section and a very, very clean stage there. Well played. Okay, so now on to the Dream Factory. Going to go and do the 2-5, two, two, I believe. So we're going to go in, we're going to go through. And there's the crash. There we hey! go, another one. Hey! We are up to four. Again, we have no rhyme, no reason for these crashes. It just does it. it. Sometimes you'll play a run and you will have no crashes whatsoever. Sometimes you'll play a run and you'll load in, it'll crash. You'll load in again and it'll crash immediately. Fingers crossed we don't see that because then I'll have made a mistake. Sega hard like making us broke here. As they do. <laughs> All for a good cause though. Let's go back into the level here, see if it loads up nicely. Dream Factory. There we go. One of the harder jumping levels here for Amy, because when we go down to the bottom right here, it is fine. But when we start to move up on the data with the floating platforms and the enemies, there is no checkpoint until you get up towards the end of the left-hand side path here. So you don't want to be making any mistakes on this segment. So we're going to be running our way through. We're going to be grabbing it. going to go down there, missing the last enemy there, but getting because the homing attack said so. But they're going to dodge the laser beams here. We're going to try and get some boost, but the cycle is off yes, a little yes. bit. So having to be very careful right on the fly there from King Rhodes. Hits the checkpoint, so we're now able to go through this area. Still on a fairly good cycle to get run that one. Grabs the dash towards it. Gonna run, miss the springs because we don't need them. That little egg point just ran off the edge, and away we go. We promise you he's fine. He's just swimming in the gold. Yes. So now going up into number six on this one. So again, very similar stage, but this time it is with Knuckles. So rather than using the boost dash tech and the light speed dash, we're going to be using the glides for the start of it. And then switching over to the bounce here, and we're going to have some climbing from Knuckles. We're going to see if we get some nice little skips here on this one, because with the climb going up, and then we'll have some moving platforms. These moving platforms we can grab onto with Knuckles, and we're going to see if we can dodge the mines and then jump around and see what happens. So... Fighting the camera angle there. Oh, you get up the very yep. top. Very nice. Misses out the entire second climb there thanks to that jump. Very, very good. You love to see it. So coming in now once again. Amy is out to play. We're going to be boosting through the stage. 17 rings this time. Got a bit of a half pipe going on on this one. Boosting our way around and down towards the stage here. Bouncing all the way up through and in. Puts a switch to Knuckles in the Fall Guys area. That means going to be grabbing the last of the Dream Shards here. Allowing us just to go towards the end of the stage. And ever closer to Nightmare Eggman, the final boss. Now I'm not going to say that it's over yet because... Uh, you can crash right at the end Very of Nightmare end. Eggman. And it doesn't count. You need to go back and do it again. So hopefully we don't see any of that from any of our runners here. As we're going to go in now. Huds getting the last couple of Dream Shards here with Knuckles. Jumping up to the top right. Going to fall down and just glide for the bottom one. As we act unlocked. Comes up for King Rhodes here. Unlocks the next couple of World 4. We're going into World 4 Act 3 Level 1. And this is the last couple of levels that we need as we go through now. So, Egosity, reach the dream portal. This one is basically one of the longest stages in the game here. Very nice jump through the half pipe there. Going to skip over all that. Going to go down the left passage side here. Because that is where our red star ring is. Going to go through the pipe. And we got through the pipe. Going to hit off the enemy there. Once the enemy is done, going to go on the rail. From the rail all the way up across. There's red star ring number one. Having to wait on the laser. As that was on a bad cycle. Gets to jump over. Jump through. Looking okay so far. Hud's doing the dangerous platforming level with Amy here. Looks like has a slightly better cycle on this one. Gets to jump over. Skips enemy number one. Lands on the checkpoint platform, which is very, very good. Running our way through. Going to go down now. Gets the cycle on that one. Makes it through very, very nicely. King Rhodes now immediately going to go and grab the next ring. Going to jump up there. Manages to just get the homing attack there. Very close on that one. Almost not high enough. Grabs the red star ring. That is three of five on this one. As we're going to skip over, land straight into the pipe. And then our fourth one is on the end of the rail section here. So we're going to grab the rail just because it's quicker. Going to boost us up and over through red star ring number four. And our final one. 
is a bit of a pain in the bum here. So we're gonna run and jump our way over. We're gonna homing attack through the pipe. We're gonna skip over this little segment here because we don't need to follow the rails all the way down. Gravity was a little, unfortunately losing the lock on for the homing attack there. Then it is a second time. As we see the Knuckles Sage completed on Hudson's side as well. We're going to be going down on the middle route here. We're going to be hopefully going to try and get a jump at this middle rail up into the dash ring. Grabs it very nicely. Doesn't phase through the platform as you land there. And that is the end of the stage there for King Rhodes. Hud's speeding around through the half pipe maze right now as well. Back in the Dream Factory. Grabbing the remaining ones here. Let's see where we go. Let's see what we're doing. So going through, going under, we got the Dream Shards with Tails here. Running our way through, we got our flight characters. Interesting different route to start with on that one. Going around for the uh, one on the top on the left-hand side of the stage. Then going to navigate towards the back of the stage before heading up towards the middle on this one. Kind of doing like a weird kind of... Kind of weird kind of U-turn, basically. Gonna fall down, grab that. Grabs it there, does the boost over. Should have enough flight to get over there, because even once the flight meter runs out, it just means you don't gain height, you slowly lose height. Very well done. Nice smooth stage there, looking five. good. Two, two, five. We're gonna hit two, two, five. Now we're gonna last couple of dream orbs through here. Ah, the Knuckles fan one. Yes. Gonna be very Happy careful. Favorite. Yeah, absolutely. Got to be very careful on this one because there is a chance that those fans just don't grab you and you fall down into the gloop and have to start again. So being very careful where it position Knuckles here. Making sure you get towards the end of that one. You can then homing attack the rail and you are sorted. Going to do a jump so you avoid the climb. Let's see what the cycle of these platforms are. Not too bad. Should be enough to get the jump. Up onto the climb, dodge the laser beams, and away we go. Hutz getting the nice jump on the rails here. Going to see if Hutz can get up the ramp. Does the rail break there as well? Very, very nice. Jumping up through and round, though. Going to grab the number three ring on this section as we see King Rhodes just grabbing the last couple of Dream Orbs there. Taking the damage boost, it doesn't really matter. Going through the pipe on the top side. Takes you up to the very top, takes the enemies down, and then away we go. So we're going to see how everything is. Is we're going to go grab that. This is another flight stage here, you know, because the flight orbs are there. We have Squeaky Cream, because she is very squeaky as she likes to run her way through. She's enjoying herself on this one. Joining us on the adventure as Hudson comes to the end of Egocity 3-1 here. We're going to get the jump over on the rail. going to make sure we don't hit that light dash. Gets the jump at the end here. Very nice. Does not phase through the platform, which is what we want to see. And while we're going through the last couple of Dream Orbs here, Mod, if you're able, buddy. I have a mic again. Yay! Yay! So, we have a $10 donation from Palea saying, for the union. Oh. Let's go, Hearts. The union will never mm. let uh, let you live this down if you lose. <laughs> oh. Also, uh -oh. also, cream best girl. Cheers. Then we have uh, $10 from Big the Dave saying oh, no. red items on a Mac, Steam and Comrade, uh, Commiserate Dan, Anime Democrats, Comment are said, Namco is red meat, Arise Tecmo Man D. Those have been anagrams of Sonic Dream Team. Aww. God damn it, Big the Dave. I was wondering where that was going. And we also have $30 from Paulister. Saying, matching the three crashes before my phone runs out of battery. Sorry, Paulister, you have ten more to give. <laughs> <laughs> For now. For now. <laughs> For now. <laughs> yes, yes, we'll yes. wait and see. Big to you guys. Going through there, we just saw King Rhodes do a very hard level with the Dream Shards there. Doing a very nice skip with Tails. Starting with Knuckles, switching into Tails, and carrying Tails' flight into an alternative room where the final Dream Shard is, and you're normally meant to get there using either Sonic or Amy. Uh, but being able to just time your flight properly to get through that is very, very good. Arguably, for me, onto one of the harder Amy levels here. Navigating away through on the Dream Shard, is going to jump on the platform with a boost to then get enough speed to get over and grab this set and then go and grab the one at the end there before finally looping underside on the level and we've got two different platforms. We're going to see how King Rhodes is going to handle this. We want to get the top one first, but it'll be interesting to see how the platforms work. Jump down for the further out platform for the safety rather than risking trying to just dash straight under there. Very good playing that one safe, running through, making it look easy on that one as we have us playing best girl as Palia says, they're playing as Cream, running our way through. 
has become the nightmare one with double cream. Yes. I'm, I'm okay with this. Double cream is a worst good stage thing. in the game, though, right here. Oh, absolutely. So the oh, problem yeah. with this one, and the reason this is the worst stage, is when you go through those dash rings, cream's flight will sometimes just stop. And you could be pressing the button to get her to fly again, and she just won't do it. So we're gonna hope that this doesn't happen for any of our runners here uh, as we run our way through. So you're gonna be wanting to grab those rings, running our way through onto the rails now, using the boost ball on the rails, gonna be getting ready for the flight. It's the last couple of ones that we need to worry about. So we're gonna come up to this segment here, boost over to the right, jump back over to the left, this section here. So we'll see if these are gonna activate. So the flight activates on one, we then gonna go do two. Will it activate as we go through it? Manages to recover against it through, very, very nice there. That's close. Making it look good. But sometimes she just doesn't fly there, and she will just drop, and you have to either about turn or somehow try and recover it. So coming up to the last couple of dream orbs now overall in this run. Back to the Nightmare Maze for King Rhodes. Hud's grabbing the last couple of Dream Orbs in the Dream Factory. You're going to see him pulling off the same tail skip here on this one. Not going to make it there. Has to about turn, jump, and then about turn to grab it on this side. Going to fall down. Gets the height to boost up. And then for number six, you're going to see the turn around, the uh, boost, jump, wait and hold the flight for as long as possible. Gets around just as Dale starts to fall. Then goes for the slide that you get when you go down the back. Oh, that spring. And just recovered it. Woo. Very nice, buddy. Very nice. So now we have the last couple of checkpoints on this one. This stage is almost already done. Again, you get the idea. Running through some new segments of stages that you haven't seen before. As we now grab six Dream Shards once again. On nice one. It is indeed. So this is back in the magic box there. We got to spin upside down. You are not getting a scare. Press and hold it. No, no. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, sometimes the menu just doesn't appear. All right. So we go through now. Yes. Tail's going to grab this one. We're going to flip around. You're going to flip around again. going to grab that one about turn oh. the flight. Yeah. Oh, it's almost having a bit of a mistake there. Make a speedrunner noises. You are indeed speedrunner noises. Album four coming out soon. As we run our way through. Hey, listen, everybody makes them. You know it's true. <laughs> you know it's true. You speedrun, you make noises. So we're going to go through in here. This route is very, very smooth once you get out of the top route here. Or sorry, once you get out of the, uh, the cube and go to the top route, you just stay on the top. You grab the one here. You boost all the way over. You don't worry about the platforming. It's very nice. It's very smooth. And there we go. All right. It's all 70. Ta da! Let's go, okay. Oh, come on, bring it home. The bring it home. Nightmare Eggman stage, the final boss stage. The end of the run is coming up. I think your buttons might work. You're able to slam it when you're ready on it. So here we go. We're going to boost our way around through the stage. Giant inflatable Eggman with his many, many arms on this one, as you saw on the cool intro screen there. The idea on this one is simple. Each of your characters are going to be played in sequence. You just need to use their specific abilities to dodge Nightmare Eggman's attacks and continue on the story. So Sonic's here is simply boost until you can't boost no more, Captain, and use the light dash and go all the way through. You like that one? <laughs> that, was, that was good. <laughs> Huds, of course, coming up now as well, grabbing the last couple on this section. About to go in and grab the final two dream orbs that Huds needs as well to come through to the Nightmare Eggman as well. So here we go. Got to the end of this one. Hold to skip. There you go. Here comes the Rouge. I love the Eggmans. So we got Rouge. The only time we play is Rouge, although I saw you snuck around there, which is nice. I know, uh, I know Shezzy uh, Berry will be appreciative of that one. So we got Rouge here, she glides again. She is the same as Knuckles in this one. She can use her glide to go, the boost to run fast and just jumps her way through over the laser beams here. And then we go through the little finger section that is already fast on that one. So we're gonna go through all the characters in sequence here. The power of friendship the Sonic team and that are known for, you know, that is how they go through. As we go down the bottom, not going to hit the laser beams there. We got the cycle on the platforms. Let's see what happens. Going to get the jump off it with the extra height. Oh, go for it. yeah, oh, managed good. to recover. That works. Nicely done. I not quick, but you recovered. Yeah. Skipping now onto Knuckles. Arguably the hardest part of this level, in my opinion. Going to dodge the first couple of fists that will come slamming down and doing the shock waves like Mr. Crabulous did. We're then going to jump off onto the dash rings, come onto another giant hand and climb our way up. We want to go up to the right on this one to hit the spring. Then we're going to jump over to this area. We're going to jump onto it and go once again up to the right. 
Once we spring off this one, we're going to then spring onto another hand that's going to take us up to the left. And once we go on the left, we're then going to land on the third one where we want to count up to 14, 14. or 15. I'm going to do 15 to be safe. 15 to be safe. 14 is the normal one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then jump off. Away you go. It means you don't have to climb all the way up no. to the spring. You dash towards the end of the knuckle section. Now, Hudson is in here as well as we come towards it. The question is, will the dreaded crash happen? Don't say that. I've already said I've that. already said Let's see what happens here. <laughs> We're going to go through. Knuckles saves Cream. Cream moves on to her section. We get the thingies. It's for me. <laughs> there you go. As I look at it's for me and the laser beams come down. We're going to go on to the boost pad here. Don't need any of that because of the homing attack. Running our way through on the running section now. And she is off skate. We are all at this point carrying our guardian deity of the dreamscape, Ariam. She is now in orb form and we are trying to go to the dream core. That's the whole point of the story is Eggman has hijacked Cream's innocence to try and become king of the dream world. And Ariam just went, nah, mate, no happening. Um, so now we're going to run on the giant long arm of Eggman here. Very reminiscent of Sonic Forces which also came from Sonic Lost World as well. You're going to see King Roach just making sure to follow the line of the boost trails here. You can run and jump, and you can do some of the little boosts that you see him doing there. 209 rings. That's a lot of rings there. As we're running our way through to the final last couple of sections here of this level. This is the part where we fingers crossed we see what happens yeah. as we come to the transition entails. This is the big one. So let's find out. You, This is the final point where we've seen the run crash. Yeah, yeah that is true. Fingers crossed it doesn't. As we come off the cutscene. No crash, but hey. oh. I don't, I don't know what that was. That was weird. We saw Sonic uh, jumping. Never seen that before. So no crash there on that one. Tails, of course, at Tails, this point is already sure doing it. Uh, well, I'll just let them play it. That's fine. Go for it, buddy. Yeah, we can't. The only cutscene we can't skip. For reasons. Cut the theme song, played. You get the theme song. You know it means it's coming up towards the end of the run at this point. Last couple of attacks here for Sonic off some of the enemies to navigate through the platforming here. King Road's going to take this one home. Oh, there is a skip there, but you didn't quite get it. I knew there was something you could do on that one. Big old jump. Oh, no. That doesn't quite make it. make it. Come on, buddy. You got this. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's no, going on. No, I'm going to say fair enough. Giving it three goes. Okay, this is unfortunate because we're on really <laughs> solid. You are. Tonight. Just just go for it. There Yay! Hey, what am I? It'll work out even. It's fine. Jeez. You want to get that there. He pops up the Eggman. It's coming towards the end of the run. Another little final skip towards it there. Why go all the way around when you can skip it? The final boost is coming up. When the final homing attack hits, that is going to be time Back. for King Rhodes. On the level there. Press the button. Push the button. Ah, they've got it. It's fine. Hey. GG, buddy. Thank you. Right, we've got Finish you coming up. Heads, yeah. We got you, buddy. We got you coming there. Tech, if we can be a pain. There you go. If we can get some audio from Hodge here on this side, that would be grand. As we can see, is for me. As we go through on that one. Brings us through. Bring it home, buddy. We got the cream section here. You've saw it there. Let's see if Hudson can take it home as well on this one. The game well and Whoa, truly. With? That's wonky controls. That's right? very wonky controls. So sometimes, he's not kidding by the way, sometimes when you do certain segments and certain transitions, the game gives you the opposite controls that you were expecting to have. So left is up, right is down, and you're going, what the heck is that? But here we go, on to Amy. The boost jumps across the final long hand of the Eggman. As we're going to go and take this section here for Huds. Fingers crossed once again for no more crashes on this right now. Just, I kind of want it to crash. I it mean, would just, just so we can see it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would just be symptomatic if it's run. It would give us 50 at this point as well, wouldn't it? I, I genuinely can't remember the last time the game has given me so much trouble at so many stages. It all does. sorts of weird happenings, but you know, it's all good fun. It picks and chooses its moments. That's the joys of speedrunning. It do. You know you've done well on it, mate. We all know that you're still one of the best runners for of this sure, game. For sure. And absolutely. Uh, don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing <laughs> you. Mate, I would be running this game if you didn't give me an Apple TV. <laughs> you literally gave me an Apple TV. I'll take Tails. 
Yeah, thanks, Tails. Really Yay! appreciate your, uh, your input. There you go. That's literally all Tails does in the final thing. Yeah. The power of friendship, but not Tails. No, he doesn't. He, fall, he throws there Sonic. There you go. Sure he's got his hands full. <laughs> he throws him. That's it. Yeah. Thanks, Tails. Did your laptop just run out of battery? Oh, God, it better not have. No, it's fine. Ah! Now we're going the wrong way. There That's you go. fine. Nice recovery. There you go. <laughs> Good job. Nice save. Thanks. <laughs> Running our way through. You're going to go for the little skip at the end here as well? Well, I'm now cons I'm now thinking that King Rhodes knows another skip. It's just up there. You boost oh, up the ring. Wait, you can boost up to yeah. that? Yeah. We, we just we just say I learned. I didn't know that either. I didn't know that. Yeah. We, just, we discovered that in the, the hotfix with Witherman. No, there wasn't that one. Yeah, it was that one and this one. Wait, no. We, in hotfix, we only discovered one. We discovered this one in hotfix. And both. now they're arguing. <laughs> there All you right. go. That one. And now they're arguing. <laughs> there you go. Take it home, buddy. Here we go. Coming up. One last boost to the finish. The final homing attack of the run. And that is GG's oh. of the run here. Sonic Dream Team. Screw we you hope game. you've all enjoyed well, the run, but we are not done we're gonna yet. Wait. Yeah. We're gonna we check are going to wait because we do need to see what has happened. Huds, I don't know, this so, was close. And, uh, Huds and King Rhodes. We're going to load the menu once we get there. Find out what the IGT is of the run. We're looking right. to beat 102.11. 102.11 is the IGT. Ready, buddy? Yeah. Good luck. Three, Three two, two, one. 101.29. One. 101. Oh, oh, my God! And then we <laughs> yeah, go! Yeah, not bad. That was almost sub-hour. That's crazy. That is oh, so that's close. Crazy. Well done. Fantastic. Thank you, thank you. That's also, thankfully for me, despite my... It would have been... That's nearly a one-minute PB for me yeah. as well. Yeah, so I'll take that. PB! Yeah. And that would have been world record too. So that is a phenomenal run, buddy. Yeah, phenomenal. Well done. Yeah. Woo! Absolutely wonderful Woo. moment there. You love to see it. Sub one will happen soon. Mm -hmm. It will be something that'll be coming. We've got these runners absolutely going to be practicing oh. a whole lot on that. I hope you've all enjoyed this run of Sonic Dream Team. If you own an Apple device, iOS, Mac OS, TV OS, any Apple device that has Apple Arcade mm -hmm. on it, you can play this game. Please do check play it out. It. So much fun. Because Sega Hardlight have done a phenomenal job, known for a lot of the mobile games, coming out and putting out a 3D game like this. For me, from these two wonderful racers here, I'll let them speak in a moment, but just Sega Hardlight, thank you very much. This is so much fun. And we look forward to see what updates two and three are going to bring. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. World record holder, do you yeah, want to yeah, yeah, yes, yes, sure. Uh, I want to give shouts to, obviously, the Dream Team community with us, the Sonic community. I've been doing this for a long time, it feels like. Uh, this has been my last like bucket list speed run thing to do. Finally could come over to ESA and then to get a world record, that was kind of like the cherry on top hey. to be able to get that. Uh, but I want to shout everyone back home, uh, a few members of the community, Mr. J who donated, uh, Synthar, Mass Killer, um, Haha, ha, everyone else that's kind of supported my little community we've got with all the speedruns and all my coworkers and family watching back home. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you in over a week. Amazing. For me, uh, first off, I want to give a shout out to this man here, King Rose. Come all the way from America, first run at ESA, gets yeah. a world record. What yeah, a yeah. legend. This man is genuinely a legend within the <laughs> Sonic Speedrun community. Um, big shout outs to Witherman, Ray and Hearts as well, Callie Mac, Hibby, and Argic, and all the IL Dreamers as well. For Thank sure. you all for rooting this game, for putting all the effort into it and showing it the love it deserves. I want to give a big shout out to Sega Hardlight, especially uh, two of the devs, a Crocodile with Shades and, uh, and um, Ocean Sized. Uh, they've been popping into our chats while we've been running this, getting feedback and give us little insights into the development of this game. Really appreciate all you've done. Thank you for making the best Sonic game of 2023. Um, big shout out to everyone in Club 601. Yes, 100, I agree, 100%. 100%. Go, 100%. So, I, uh, I agree as well. There you go. I do. Yeah, yeah. There you I go. do. <laughs> Big shout out to everyone in Club 61, especially my amazing mod team that look after everyone for me. I love you all. Shout out as well to all the restreamers, the J French, Japanese, and the Russian restreams, but especially the German restream. Our friend Roman has been commentating this for the German restream. Buddy, I hope you're able to keep up with this man. Yeah. Good luck is all I can say. And finally, big love back to Mrs. Hurst, my wife, who's been back home watching this. I've seen you in chat. I know you've been watching. Thank you very much for your support. Um, yeah, other than that, Arg. That is it for us, folks. I hope you've all enjoyed this run. This has been Sonic Dream Team at ESA Winner 24. We're going to go back over to the hosting desk here. Take it away when you're ready, buddy.